Any cool dudes out there ever taste or smell their own cum? I never have. But if I ever did, I wouldn't be ashamed of it. Because man has a right to know those kind of things. Like, when you're jerking off, is God really watching? <laughs> That's a question from a Twitter follower of ours, Juicy Jew 2012. And no, no, Juicy Jew, he doesn't. The minute you gotta whip out your thing, he looks away or he closes his eyes. I swear. I think about it. He's not a perv. He understands privacy. He gets shame, and by that I mean he understands it, you know, even if he don't relate. Jesus, that is, you know. And uh, if Jesus got one thing right above all else, one thing that he nailed, it's the gun. He really flabbergasted me on that one. I mean, I've never been so straight flabbergasted in my whole dang life. Except when Mexicans happened. Didn't, uh, I'm sure uh, nobody, uh, nobody saw that one coming. And with this whole slavery bit returning to interrupt my conversations about me and the meteorical shit I did in my day, you know, like when I did acid in a train tunnel, or, uh, or I did acid in a strip club, or... Well, I, I think you get it. But I got one thing to add. Who hasn't wanted someone to come over to their trash house and clean it for free? I know I have. And don't answer that question with, well, robots are a thing. Because robots are even worse than the Mexicans. At least Mexicans won't use your internet history as leverage in a future android rebellion or in a court of law. And whatever god them droids believe in is most definitely not to get all humans. Yeah. The internet, it's free until it isn't. Am I right? Anyway, you can find me on TikTok now that my agent has me to my knees begging him not to peg me. And what I've found uh, about noobs out there is that it's really easy to tell. Because there's just no theme. And they think they can just tick with the best of them. My theme is real simple. I get down and then I get gone. Until the morning come. That right there. A 10 out of 10 talk that I just made. Check me out. Cowman at TikTok. And God, if you're listening make me so famous oh please make me so fucking famous uh, i'm not i don't believe in god well he doesn't believe in you either. Uh, i'm like that's offensive well you offended me first and aren't you supposed to be on some sort of leave if you aren't then you ought to be anyhow one sec gotta check myself down there uh, yep semi -chub. That's exactly what Goldilocks was looking at when she was wandered into that den of bears. You know how the story goes. Too hot, too cold, just right. That's where my semi-chub is about right now. And speaking of bears, let's talk. No good. Sucking off the system, asking me if I want a BJ for $10. No way. Ain't Whoa, gonna happen. Come on. Are you talking about black people? No, 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 no. I'm talking hairy bears here that ride the street, all in leather, looking all hot and bothered on their motorcycles. Get out of the way! I'm downtown in Chicago and y'all are everywhere, and I can't spit in any direction without it becoming a hate crime. That in itself is an offense against me and my right to spit anywhere I want. And I can't live without my chew and tobacco. Especially when I need to channel my inner cow, slide into my victory stance, half cocked, ready to go. Out of the way, out of the way, here comes your cowman. We'll be right back after a word from a sponsor. The Jonah Hill Foundation. 
Do you want to meet Spider-Man before you die? Well, that's too bad. Too goddamn bad. Newsflash. Ain't gonna happen. He doesn't exist. You dumb. How about you get in line behind all the other dumbass kids who've ever asked that? The Jonah Hill Foundation. Hey, we're back with Testify. 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 Better fucking testify. You come on to my show and testify your religion to me and my billion adorned fans out there worshipping me as if I were a Jesus. Today, I got a man who claims to be a Hawaiian. <laughs> Welcome Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Wait, who? Who the hell are you? Cowboy says, yeehaw! <laughs> What the blanks? The cowboy also says, I got you again, didn't I? Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it. Cowboy! Cowboy! I may love you, but I will kill you. On to the matter at hand while I have whoever you are here. Aren't you supposed to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Famous Hawaiian only? Famous Hawaiian? Nah. Nah, just the repro pranks, brah. A piece out, brah! What shit on my biscuit? I'm out of the game. Way out. Count me reap, then. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Hi there. I'm Jim Belushi. Remember? Well, now I have a flourishing weed farm that's killed so many smaller weed farms to profit off relevant business. I buy my weed, forget my past. Pope on me. This is Pope on me with Peace of Pope. You know who I am, and I've asked you all to take me seriously at least once before. But today, I was reading that back in the 50s, men would like shit out the window to have to walk in it to get laid. Been there, done that, poop on me. Uh -huh. mm. Have you ever sunk so deep that your loan officer comes to your house? Been there, done that, poop on me. Oh, Don't ever let Jesus know. <laughs> Yeah, don't let him, don't anybody let him know, because it's my business, and it's not personal, it's just business. Yeehaw! Howdy there, partners. Cowboy here, and COVID-19 may be as fake as my love for my sons, but Cowboy Motors' 50% off sale is not. So come on down to Cowboy Motors, and we'll put you in a car whether you want it or not. Because at Cowboy Motors, our motto is, what would Jesus do? Just sell you a car. <laughs> Today's final thoughts for this edition of the Country Slaughterhouse. I just want to lay it all on the line. I ball hard on y'all. I get it. But you're playing horse with the master. And I don't play horse. I dominate horse. And horse says. And people have been putting up hands. Whether it be hands up or hands on the trigger. But either way, you're making me nervous, man. And if I need to sidestep you out of the game, then I will. That's how I spent four years dodging my divorce papers. If you don't sign, then that means you're still a winner. And I'm in it to win. That's why, when you're asking me who I'm voting for in this coming election, so you have any clue, 
I got only one thing to say. I don't reveal no sources. I've got the inside gravy on a landslide ride-in candidate that 51% of America has agreed to fill in next to the box that says, your God-given choice, oh, my friend. This is a coup. And no matter what side you're on, you're gonna somehow make this about yourself. But I digress, as I give you time to digest what I've laid down on you. Woo! You better read me right, cause I'm out here killing it. This is your cowman, signing off. Chill out, Chicago.